Hey everybody, Nick from Matt's Point Tennis and welcome to another instructional video. I'm here with my lovely wife, Dr. Jamie Bennett of PhysioCore and today we're going to talk to you about three different variations for a row. And so Jamie, let's talk about the benefits of performing a row and why tennis players need to do it. Uh, I typically have most of my shoulder patients uh, doing rows in the clinic or at home. Um, rows are going to work your posterior deltoid, rhomboids, the trapezius, latissimus del uh, dorsi, and also uh, the bicep. So it's great for shoulder stabilization. If you don't have shoulder stabilization, then you are more prone to injury, particularly um, anterior capsular injuries, could lead to rotator cuff compression or just altered neuromuscular um, biomechanics. So that's why we often encourage rows in the clinic. Absolutely. As a tennis player and someone who's had shoulder injuries, rows, especially with these resistance bands and therabands we're going to show you, are easy to use and they're going to help strengthen your upper back and they're also going to help you prevent injury. And that's the key, preventing injuries from happening. So we're going to go ahead and get down on the floor and show you how to do a seated row. So we're down here on the ground and we're going to be performing a seated row. My dog might come into the picture. So I have a red TheraBand. This is a medium um, resistance. Depending on the company, red doesn't always mean medium resistance. So uh, I'm going to put the demo up here for you. Again, I'll link into the, into the seated row that I did. Uh, but we're going to review that. Number one, when you do a seated row, you want your legs to be straight as you can. Uh, you don't want to see where the TheraBand's up by my toes. You don't want to do that because you could do this. Oof, and that really stings, let me tell you. So when you do this, you're gonna to wanna to put the TheraBand by you, the heels of your feet. Your legs are straight. You can see how I'm kind of hunched over here. We wanna get our back at about 90 degrees, so up and pinch your shoulders back. To get more resistance, you can grab down here a little bit further. You can use a different TheraBand. Okay, so let's talk about this. When you perform the, the, the row, you don't want to be herky-jerky, okay, because that can cause injury. We want to be smooth and consistent when we perform this. Jamie's behind me, so I'm going to make sure my back is arched straight, perpendicular to the floor, squeezing back, and I'm going to go ahead and breathe in. And when I pull, I exhale and squeeze. Can I interject? Make sure what I often see in the clinic is my patients do this go ahead and pull back for me and they shrug nope oh often do this we do not want shoulders and ears <clears throat> so make sure you're keeping your shoulders down and back and then squeeze there you go breathe in exhale breathing is very important squeezing here at the end there'll be arguments whether you should be at your waist or at your hips it does not matter so when you're doing a seated row Make sure your legs are straight. Make sure your TheraBand is by your heels. Use an appropriate TheraBand that you can perform the row successfully in good form. Keep that back straight, looking for, forward, straight ahead. Making sure you exhale when you pull and inhaling when you release and make sure we're not jerking our movements. What if your hamstrings are tight? I don't know. What happens if your hamstrings are tight? And someone who has done a lot of yoga, I used to not be as flexible and I couldn't get my legs straight or even reach down too far. So what Jamie and I are gonna show you here is two other ways you can do a row using your TheraBand. So here we're doing a standing row and my lovely wife, Jamie is still with me and helping me. And so I'm gonna show you how to do a standing row. Now, Jamie, if I don't have a partner or if I'm alone, how else can I do this? <laughs> Easy. Just tie your TheraBand around a doorknob or bedpost. Or if you're at the tennis court, you tie it around a fence. So here's what we're going to do. You want to make sure your feet are shoulder width apart. You don't want to be leaning forward. You want that back nice and straight. I'm looking ahead at my wife. If I want to make this harder, I can grab further down the TheraBand or I can use a different color TheraBand. You want to be able to do your number of reps. Uh, with good form each time and at the end you should be fatigued when you do this but still have good form so my feet shoulder width apart i'm looking straight ahead and when i pull i want to make sure i'm kind of going right at my waistline not like this we see this or shrug shoulders right we want to pull here so i'm going to take a deep breath in exhale and squeeze make sure i'm squeezing here in the back 
and final row with our uh, TheraBand is going to be a bent over row. Uh, so more traditional like the dumbbell row I showed and I'll put a link up here for you so you can check that out with the dumbbell. So I have my red TheraBand, my medium weight TheraBand. And again, you want to be able to perform each of these with good form and be fatigued at the end. If you're not able to do that, either you have too hard or too uh, hard of a TheraBand or too much resistance and you might have to lighten it up. So let's go ahead and get started. So when I do this, I've got my TheraBand, and I'm gonna bend over, I'm gonna step on it in the middle. And I want my weight in the middle. I want the weight on the middle of my feet, meaning I don't wanna be on my toes with my weight, and I don't wanna be on my heels on my weight, so I'm off balance. I want them centered, the weight's centered. If I want more resistance, I can step out and step out and give myself a little more resistance. That's what makes this one of the, these TheraBands so great. And you're gonna hinge at the hip, so I'm gonna step on this, at my weight, I'm going to be looking about three feet in front of me, and I'm going to hinge at my hip so my back is almost parallel to the ground. Feet shoulder width apart, and I've got my therabands. Another way, if it's too easy, you grip lower. So I might grip a little bit higher at first. I'm looking out ahead of me. My knees are bent. I'm hinged at the hips. Back almost parallel to the ground. I'm going to exhale when I come up and breathe in when I am come down. So I'm going to take a deep breath and squeeze here at the top, keeping my elbows close to my sides. And when I'm doing this movement, if you notice, I'm not jerking up really fast because that can cause injury. Nice, smooth, continuous motion, making sure my shoulders are not rounded. They're down here. You can see my shoulders down. Make sure you're squeezing at the top. And that's how you perform a bent over row with your TheraBand. If you have any questions or comments about the any three, any three of the variations that uh, Jamie and I showed you today, please type them below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button uh, and get notifications for our new videos. This is Nick from Matchpoint Tennis. We'll see you next time.